In this video, I want to show you a real cool trick in Photoshop in order to make like logos like this, images like this where you have text that goes around a circle and kind of in between. This is one I, I, I did a while ago. I didn't even list this shirt, but I was thinking of it at the time. Um, there was one selling really well and I was going to try some different years for made in Australia shirts. Um, here's one and then here's an, so how the text actually stays like that in a perfect circle, like how to do that. Also, um, you see here in this design, this design actually didn't work very well. I thought it'd do really, really well, but this just didn't. I was copying that, uh, modeling that same thing with cute enough to take your breath away and skilled enough to, to bring it back. Um, actually, no, this one I made up myself. So cute enough to take your breath away and skilled enough to bring it back, and I was targeting uh, respiratory therapists. So it's a little different. I did make a few sales, but it didn't actually do very well. Anyhow. You see how the text follows this exactly? Like, how do you do that? So this was something I had to learn myself. It's actually not as intuitive as I thought. I just found some tutorials on YouTube, but I thought I'd just show you how I do it. Um, let's go and create a new image here. Let's go, I don't know, 800 by 800. And just get the background, um, select the background color here and and I'm going to choose this color right here, the foreground color. You go Alt Backspace. Now it'll change that background color. And then what I'll do is I'll just stick some text on here and just start typing. This is my cool text. Now one way that most people will do this is when you select your text tool here and on the bar, if you select it, you see at the very top you'll have this little button here. If you click that you come up with the wrap text window and in the style you can select arc and now you can arc it by doing it this way you can even do some other really cool stuff like uh, like something like this I've done this with shirts as well so you got some other different things you can do arc it different ways here but what I find like when you use an arc tool like this and let's say you're trying to wrap it around a circle. So let's just make a circle, hold down the shift key on my keyboard to make it perfectly circular. Circular. If I don't, it's going to make an oval like this. So hold down the shift key. And then I'll just double click in the layer to change the color to white. And so if you see if I want to wrap this text around this circle really nicely, I'll have to use that text tool here. So if I just click on this thing and go to the arc again, then you got to kind of like make it sort of visually look about right and then you kind of bring it close but it's not perfect and it doesn't look quite right when it's done if you have a lot of text and if you start typing more this is more text like see what happens it just looks horrible well there's a way of doing this really really easily and when when I saw this technique I, I just shook my head going I can't believe how easy this is let's just delete that text out of there Oops, not duplicate. I want to delete, right click and delete. What you do is uh, over here you'll see this right here, this little cursor. If you select that, select path selection tool. And then let's just click on our object and it automatically kind of selects the outside of it. You can't really see it. But once you do that, now click the text tool and just click it. Like if you go near the edge, you'll see the cursor will change. See that? It changes to a little wavy kind of thing, <laughs> a little wavy line and then the, the little cursor. So if you click there, it will actually kind of attach itself to the border of that path. And now as you type, this is my cool text going around the circle. Pretty wicked, eh? And then let's say you wanted some space in between that. You can just take that object in the middle hit one of the corners there of the bounding box. If you don't see the bounding box, hit this little um, oops, up top there you'll see this little show transform controls or it might say show bounding box in earlier versions of Photoshop. I left click one of the corners, hold down the shift and the alt key at the same time and just resize a little bit out like that. So that's for the text actually. You can also do that with the object too. Same thing, shift and alt key at the same time and you can resize it. So, in fact, if I go like this, make it a little bit bigger, and then we can give it a um, 
we can take this and we can actually take the opacity out of it. We can double click this, bring up the layer styles and give it a stroke of white. That doesn't look like it's showing up there. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, the opacity has to be 100. It's the fill opacity. There we go. So now we can see the border like that. And we could simply just create a copy of that. Just right click and duplicate layer. And we have another la uh, circular layer there. Grab a corner, shift and alt, and just go on the inside. And now we have perfect text around in the circle. And that's basically exactly how I did that. Pretty cool, isn't it? So let me show you how to do this kind of a path. It's a little different. So let's just remove all this. Because on this one, I can't actually select the path of all these icons. These All these icons are actually individual little icons in there, a whole bunch of them. And so I can't um, select all of them at once and have a path like I did when I used this selection tool. I just can't do that. So there's a way of doing it. So I'm going to go over here. And the first thing I do, I just want to bring in all these icons here. Um, it's a whole folder. And I'm just going to select that folder and control E to change it all into one um, layer. And I'm going to right click and convert to smart object so I can resize it. Just make it a little smaller there. And so I want to get the text to kind of follow it all the way around. And so how I do that, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. All that is done is you've got to use a path tool here. So you see this, sorry, pen tool. Select the pen tool and you have to manually do it. So you just click down at the bottom there and you just kind of follow really closely like this. And you kind of got to manually do it. It isn't really that difficult. Just make sure it's sort of straight. And just go all the way around. follow that path as best as you can. This is exactly what I did. Like that. Now take the text tool and put it down at the beginning there. Wait till it changes the cursor. And I'll start typing. Cute enough to stop your heart. You see the text kind of disappeared there. So if I just select all the text Select it all there. And now I can go over to the, um, oops, so select it all. Go over to the text character thing and I can just um, change the font size. So all I'm doing is I'm just selecting all the text and then over here in the font I can just select my font. You can select it like that and I'm just going to use the uh, little scroll thing on my mouse in the middle if you have that on your mouse I can just go up and just make it look like it gets to the end I can give it bolding do all the regular text stuff here until it kinda looks good you know um, oops the um, distance between text and that's basically all you do so the text kinda follows around you see it kinda messed up a little bit there probably because I didn't make my path perfect in that little area but that's all I did to make that go around the heart like that that's just a really cool little skill to have and trust me it'll come in handy many times when you want to do some sort of circular design